and welcome to new lecture about Zyco IP telephony today it will be short lecture about inbound calls it's very easy to configure just we will go to inbound control then we will go to inbound route then we will select our line so we have FXO1, FXO2, FXO3 and FXO4 so now I have only one line connected so I will click edit now we will select here inbound destination you can route the call for example if you have IVR like welcome greeting message welcome to our company it will route you can you have to route the call to IVR but we will we didn't take the lesson for IVR until now we'll explain later now we will route any inbound call to extension you can route to voicemail trunk department another trunk like another PBX IBPX department like group conference queue paging these hang up all this will explain later also time rules you can if you have if you have two times in your company out of time and working time if he call in out of uh, out of working time he will hear please or our office currently close you, you have to call later so we'll explain about this later for now we will make it keep it simple I will route any call to extension 100 my phone here 100 so I will route the, the call uh, to 100 extension then I will click save now we have FXO1 destination type extension and inbound destination extension 100 so let's see now let's go to trunk I will make one call let me open my phone So now I am calling. You will see here. Now it will be busy. The line will be busy. Uh, two seven eight four. So now I'm calling, just focus here. Now it should be busy. Now it's busy. Now it will route the call to extension 100. You can see here. Now it will come to 100 extension. Test one, two, test, 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 test. So I hang up the call now. So this is very simple. You see now how we route the call to extension 100. I maybe somebody will ask why it's take two rings until the system uh, routed to extension because if you can see here when we call the call detected from any system from IP any IBPX even Avaya Cisco Zyco Grandstream it will take one or two rings why because we using analog technology in SIP technology once you call automatically the call will establish and the system will answer it and route it to the system but in analog lines because we know analog technology very old so it take time you have to wait until one ring or two rings then the call it will route to extension this is very long scenario if i want to explain about it this is about like voltage because the system when you receive call like we have positive and negative in analog so he should wait some time to confirm if this a call or this is normal signal from ITSP because if this is normal signal from ITSP the system will not open the session will not open the call and route to extension 100 so he because of that the analog lines when receive any call in analog lines to any system Avaya, Cisco, Zyco the system will wait until one or two rings after that it will route the call to extension 100 or any route so if you use SIP lines i will explain about later sub lines once you call directly it will open the uh, session because it's working under void technology uh, like it will send like frame or packets so the system will know if this is call or this is a check from itsp so he will know if open he will open the call or he will hang up directly so this is about inbound calls thank you for watching and goodbye